This is Douglas Tooley. I'm just south of Moab, Utah. This is my uh, video uh, guide to the upper Cane Creek Springs dispersed camping area. It's a little bit rough. I'll show you the road, see if you're comfortable with it or not. I think most vans and passenger cars will have no problem accessing most of this. If you're in a van or an RV, uh, use your judgment accordingly. Uh, shouldn't be confused with the lower, more popular lower Cane Creek area, which the BLM just started charging for a few years back. Uh, first year I was there, uh, they kind of messed it up and there's absolutely nobody there. Hopefully they've changed that, but uh, uh, I haven't been back. So here we go. This is how to find it coming from the south. My style, I like to uh, uh, move slowly and uh, uh, judiciously as I come into town. So if I'm coming out of the Needles District of Canyonlands National Park or the Bears Ears down towards Landing and Bluff, or maybe Paradox, the Paradox Valley and Telluride, uh, I like to camp here before I go into Moab. And then I've got a nice relaxed day in town before I head out uh, to the north. We are just south of the Hole in the Rock tourist area and rest area, which is, I believe, also the King Creek Springs. Very close for water and restrooms as you wish. There's the turn. Years of are looking at the King Creek Trail, which you do not want to go down. It's a modified four wheel drive road. It is a good hike. Got the new cattle guard here. Oh, they're rounding cattle. Probably moving them up a little, moving them up a little bit. Uh, up a bit. Designated roads only. Be careful not to braid too much up in here. This is a gas line, uh, something we want to keep out of southern Utah completely. Although the, the Navajo tribe and the Ute tribe does have some land uh, in the area here. You gonna chase those cows if I let you out, buddy? We'll go a little bit farther. Probably just moving north now or up to higher elevation now. It's uh, this is a good wintering spot. Uh, this is about as rough as it gets. And one thing about this is it's soft. Good way to kind of test your limits a little bit. Uh, we've got canyons on both sides of us. This is a good. Uh, you can go down the modified four-wheel drive road. Um, one side and come up the, the creek here on the, off to the left. Uh, that's a good introduction to canyon hiking. It's a little bit rough over there on the left. Uh, you get to check out the four-wheel drive road. Uh, shorter, definitely, uh, and, and easy half day-ish kind of thing. Last than half a day. Uh, we're coming up onto the Slick Rock. It's not smooth, but uh, you're not going to have clearance problems here. Let's take it so. There is 3G internet out here. You can go up this way in the slack rock on the panorama. There is 3G internet up here, but it's not very good. Very minimal. There's also traffic noise. Um, so this isn't the spot, you know, I'd want to boondock for 14 days, but I, I really like it uh, every time I come out into Moab. Just about every time I stay here.
Uh, as you can see, there's only a limited amount of dirt off here to the right. If you're cat holding your um, daily functions, uh, once you can get a really good deep cat hole, I'd pull my toilet paper. It's starting to be a problem here. Most places it's not, but here the, the soil tends to be shallow above the slick rock. You're not getting a really deep cat hole. And people aren't burying it at all, so no need to give it any risk of getting any worse. Or just look for that spot where you've got a really a good six inch plus deep cat hole. A few spots up in here. Uh, you can also camp out on the slick rock. That's kind of a nice little thing to do. The road does get a little bit rougher up here in a bit. But this isn't too bad. You know, with a long RV or a trailer, you, you might have issues. I'm not an expert in backroading on those. Area is not too badly trashed. Uh, I think people are cleaning it up. But there's a little bit of broken glass around some of the fire rings. But the thing about this not being good for trailers is you don't get the ATV type crowd coming up here. Go for a run, Rusty. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. He's a new dog. I've just had him here for a few weeks. Let's see if he can run in front of the camera. Come on, bud. Come on, Rusty. Come on. I'm not leaving you. Come on, bud. And this is the roughest spot right here. I should go around the loop. <laughs> or you don't come this way at all. Ah. Don't come up this far at all. My Ranger looks like a four-wheel drive, but it's actually just two-wheel drive. Oh, can I make it? I guess so. Don't become a super granny deer. <laughs> And that's the Cane Creek Springs Canyon proper. See if I can zoom in here. Ah. And that is the Hole in the Rock tourist area. There is also a rest area just on the other side of that rock wall, which is where the springs are. Those are the La Salle Mountains up there. Uh, definitely good cooler weather camping if you get here in a hot spell, which do happen later on in the year. It's now just uh, uh, second week of March. Have a great one. Hope you enjoyed it.